It's time now for Countywide, a special presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. Join Paul David and Kyle Benedict as they talk with our community's leaders, newsmakers, and people in the know. You'll hear about the hot topics that affect all our lives in Yavapai County. And now here's today's Countywide. Welcome to Countywide. I'm Paul David. As always, it's great to have you in studio with us today. We're talking with Horses with Heart today. They have their 2016 Bolathon coming up on Saturday, February 13th. In studio is Janice Shanks, the Bolathon Chair. Good morning, Janice. Good morning. And Sandy Vernon, the Committee Secretary. Good morning. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you. All right, before we get into this, we had Horses with Heart in years ago, and I, I went back and I looked at the history of Horses with Heart, and it, it came around 1993. So it's it's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think the first thing we should probably do is let folks know just what Horses with Heart is because you're both volunteers there. We are. So who wants to kind of give me the background with Horses with Heart and what it's all about? I will. Janice, do it. <laughs> okay, I will. Horses with Heart um, was initiated in 1993. Um, however, the lady who we know, mm -hmm. Trudy Chapman Radley, reorganized it in 1996 and it, it was housed at the Whistle Stop Ranch in Dewey. Mm -hmm. And they covered an arena there and um, got some horses. The horses are donated or um, borrowed or, I don't think they've raised any horses. Not that I know of, no. Um, so they're, they're housed and very well taken care mm -hmm. of. And uh, the program is an equine therapeutic riding program. So volunteers like Sandy and I um, help riders who have special needs, from kids to veterans to seniors, um, ride a horse, learn how to gain confidence and um, dignity, self-respect, mm -hmm. and have a lot of fun. They learn how to ride horses. So Trudy Chapman Radley, who is still with the organization, mm -hmm started that ranch in Dewey. And since, it moved, has moved up to Chino Valley. And okay. I think that happened in 2010. Pretty recent, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, the nice Chino facility. Valley facility is really, mm -hmm. really nice. Very well cared for, all by volunteers. Um, and, and a terrific board of directors. Yeah, there's no. a covered arena. You said therapeutic. Let's let's go back a little bit yeah, and talk okay. about therapeutic. What do you mean by therapeutic with horses? Because you hear that about dogs too. Yes. Where people will bring dogs to mm -hmm. hospitals, say, yeah. mm -hmm. or nursing homes. Mm -hmm. So what makes a horse so therapeutic? I think just being with a horse is therapeutic. There's a vibe you get that the horse is so accepting and these giant animals are so gentle and so obedient and they even seem to want to help. So you might have a child with cerebral palsy. There's a, We have an automatic mounting machine so they there's a lot of help they have a whole team that helps and then the riding instructors are fully qualified and they guide the, the rider into this contraption that lifts them up and puts them on the horse oh, wow. and you imagine a prey animal like a horse standing there so patiently waiting for this child or veteran with a wonderful veterans program to be loaded onto his back and then led to the arena so the child not only gains the confidence and has that emotional bond with the horse but starts to get control over his own body again and has that wonderful feeling that I can do this. I'm up on this 10-foot animal. It probably seems like that to them. And I'm in control. And there's all these people here can help me. But if I don't want help and they think I'm ready, they can just stand back and be there if I need them. Each session is six weeks. And the ultimate goal from start to finish in a six-week session <clears throat> is independence for the rider. Now that's not physically possible for all, all riders. Right. Um, some of our veterans are paralyzed um, and a lot of, I mean there's all kinds of physical and, and mental and challenges. emotional yeah. challenges yeah. Yeah. yeah, for the riders. Mm -hmm. But the ultimate goal is, is to become independent, as independent as the riders can be. Mm -hmm. I have to say, that was probably the last time we had Horses with Heart in, was when the veterans program kicked off. Just started. Uh -huh. And we were interested to, to hear how that was going to work. And so, um, I, I, obviously, that program is working. Very well. We have both volunteered with that and hope to again at the, when they start up again in the six weeks in March. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, do you know about the teams, the support teams that each veteran has? 
No, tell okay. me all about so it. So yeah. the way it works yeah. is a veteran will come either alone or on a bus or with a companion or a spouse. Mm -hmm. And the uh, there's a three-person team. You have the coach, the sidewalker, and then the leader just fixes on the horse. The coach fixes on the rider. And then the sidewalker just watches the rider and doesn't talk. And then the riding director will be in charge of everything going on in that arena. Okay. So if the if the rider is is paralyzed, as Janice said, or not able to do it, then the team will go out and get the horse and bring it and pre-groom it and saddle it and be ready and take it into the riding director who puts the bridle on and helps the rider mount and then runs the riders through a series of movements just to show that the rider controls the horse. Well, most of the horses are led by the leader but the horse still responds to the neck reins mm -hmm. or to the voice of the heels or the legs of the rider. So it's not only physical exercise, but it's focus on, on the director and focus whose eyes are everywhere and focus on the horse to make this animal do what I want in a loving, kind way. Mm -hmm. And so after that, is, each ride's about an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, each session's an hour. Mm -hmm. So then depending on the skill of the rider, a lot of the riders then will take will help take the saddle off and then groom the horse after the ride mm -hmm. and halter take it back to its pen. Oh God, that'd be really therapeutic right there. It's wonderful. Yeah. Brush yeah. the horse down has got to be pretty therapeutic, yeah. I would imagine. You bet. It's very, yeah. when, um, when the riders dismount, usually it's this wonderful um, lead instructor who says, well, you can't go home until you love up your horse. <laughs> and that's where you're standing on the side just having spent an hour with this person, seeing them just beam in the saddle and having some control, uh, it's, it brings tears to your eyes. Mm -hmm. The it's, accomplishment. It's a beautiful moment, and the horse loves them back. Yeah, it's, it's a great bonding moment. I've always been nervous around horses, and my wife has been trying to get me on a horse for many years now. And this last summer, she did get me on a horse. Wonderful. Right, and I have to tell you, when I got up on him, his name was John Wayne, <laughs> and, and I absolutely loved him to death. I thought, oh my gosh, you're, you're, you're the perfect horse. And I remember I rode on him for an hour and a half, and when I got off of him, I didn't want to leave him there. I want to take him home with me. Yeah, that's I know. right. And it, it is. It's very therapeutic. It, very. It, tr it truly is. Um, so you mentioned it's a six-week program. Mm -hmm. Now, are we riding every day, or is it every other once day? Once a week. Once a week. Okay, so yes. an hour or once a week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, it, it, if you come early to groom and then you stay after to groom, it's more like two hours, okay. hour and a half mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, can, are, are they clients? Do we call them clients, patients? We call them riders. Riders? Okay, mm -hmm. Do the riders, can the riders come any day they want and just kind of hang out and be in the atmosphere? There's a schedule. Um, there's riders at the ranch all the time mm -hmm. because they volunteer also. Mm -hmm. Some of them, They yeah. groom, they muck stalls. Um, Office work. They do office work. Yeah, they have yeah. classes in they the summer. They volunteer on some of the fundraising committees. But they do need a doctor's order. Okay. So there are certain veterans that we've, we've gone out or we've been scheduled to go and the, the class that our team is canceled because the rider's not up to it. Okay. It takes some of them, you know, the veterans with PTSD, mm -hmm. for instance, it takes a lot of courage to get in your car and go to this place and get on this animal. Mm -hmm. So after the six weeks is over, if I need more than that six weeks, mm -hmm. can I sign up again? Or yes. do, I, the, do I have to start that whole process all over again with no. the paperwork? And, no. You just, there's a continuation. They can there's sign a continuation. up okay. for um, subsequent six-week sessions. And, a lot and of they do. do that. Yeah. yeah, they do. I imagine, I imagine some of them never want to leave either. You don't want to yeah. go when you're there. Okay. We so, have to take our first break already. Oh Janice boy. Shanks with the Bolathon chair for the 2016 Bolathon for Horses with Heart. It's coming up on Saturday, February 13th. We'll tell you how to register and all that good stuff uh, when we come back from the break. Also, Sandy Vernon, committee chairman and our committee secretary mm -hmm. in studio. I'm Paul David. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Someone at my friend's school has this thing called autism. My friend's brother's son has autism. My neighbor's son has autism. 
My son has autism. Autism is getting closer to home. Today, one in 68 children is diagnosed with autism. That's about a 30% increase in two years. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Oh, I heard you dropped art class. What happened? Life happened. I'm too old for finger painting. You guys going to Haley's thing tonight? Totes, time to get trapped. I don't, I don't. That was for your eyes only, Brian. Baby, if you send it to me, it's public property. Speak for yourself. Live above the influence. Here's to the things that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. Welcome back to County Wide Horses with Heart in studio today. Janice Shanks and Sandy Vernon, both uh, volunteers there. A website for you, hwhonline.org for Horses with Heart, online.org. A phone number, 928-533-9178, 533-9178, hwhonline.org. Now, we've got uh, an event coming up, and there, there's the shirt and the picture just fine. The Horses with Heart Annual bull -a -thon 2016. It's coming up on February 13th, which is a Saturday. Mm -hmm. Registration starts at 9 a.m., but you want folks to sign up ahead of time, and the money is going to a great cause, which we're also going to talk about during this segment of the show. You bet. So tell me a little bit about how do I register for this? Let's get with that one first. You can download the forms at Horses with Heart, the hwhonline.org, and okay. then just mail them in with your check. The deadline is coming up. It's the 22nd. Okay. But I don't think we're going to throw them away if they come after that. We just need to know soon so they can get the event T-shirt. Okay. Okay. How many T-shirts they need? Because you're all going to get a T-shirt. Everybody yes. gets a T-shirt that yeah. shows up. And that's that. on the form yes. too. Okay. Okay. And that's on the form. Right. So you can have a team of four people, mm -hmm. or you can just sign up alone, and we'll put you on a team. It's only thirty dollars for two games, and includes the shoes. Okay, all right. We also have a and killer the shirt. And, and the, the shirt. shirt. and the shirt, which is a beautiful indigo and has the logo on it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's a killer raffle. Some people come to the bowling alley, which is in Prescott Valley, Antelope Lanes, just to, dig just to be part of the raffle. Because we all get items from our very generous donors all over the Quad Cities. Mm -hmm. And the prizes are terrific. You got a grand prize? Yeah. I forget what it was last year. Um, um, this year we don't have a grand prize, but... Some of the prizes are passes to Grand Canyon Railway, passes mm -hmm. to Arizona, um, Augie's Augie's restaurant, been very generous. Mm -hmm. um, Target, most of the local uh, businesses. Places. Like we yeah. see at a lot um, of these things. Quilts, pet stores, uh, veterinary mm -hmm. places, lots of, lots of animal baskets. Mm -hmm. And our raffle chair, Maureen Owen, has just done a beautiful job year after year She's wonderful. with compiling and um, presenting the presenting. raffle items. Okay. It's a, All right. it's a great Because you buy tickets, but you only put them in the, in the bags of the ones that you want, so you don't just get uh, any old thing that comes up. Gotcha. Okay, right. so you can pick and choose which yeah, one I you want Yeah, I forget what kind of raffle to. that is, but it's, it's wonderful. She does a great job. Okay. And the bowling alley's been terrific. Let's talk about what the money goes for. You bet. What's the money go for? Well, I think it was originally designed for the writers to have a chance to raise money for scholarships. Mm -hmm. It still is. And it, and it, but, I mean, it's, it's grown from that. But okay. now the writers... Um, that nice when things get bigger? It's wonderful. When you say, I want things to be bigger and better next year, and, and they, they do get bigger yeah, and better yeah. next year? Yeah. That's it's, always nice. It's amazing yeah. to us, and mm -hmm. we hope to make a lot of money, because it takes a lot of money to run an outfit like this. Well, yeah, we're talking about So horses. the writers, yeah, yeah, they eat a lot. Mm -hmm. So the writers have a chance to raise pledges and get their own scholarship money. But then, I mean, I had lunch with friends from the, the theater yesterday, and I just wanted them to form a bowling team. And instead, they all pulled out their wallets and handed me this money mm -hmm. oh. to pay for, for rides yeah. for this cool. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the bowling event is, is great because there are three avenues for fundraising. Okay. The, the, the bowlers themselves, and um, half the proceeds go into the scholarship fund. There's a pledge drive, 
Mm -hmm. So our riders get pledges and our volunteers get mm -hmm. pledges and anyone can go and ask for pledges so that's a direct contribution. Mm -hmm. And then we have donors and sponsors who give raffle prizes or cash and that um, everything goes directly into the general scholarship fund and then the riders can petition for a certain amount of funds and uh, they're usually granted. Now the scholarships are for the riders to, to use at Horses with Heart? To yes. pay for their lessons. Yes. Okay, so yes. what does it cost for the lessons there for the six-week program? It, it, would de it depends. Okay, it depends. Um, our Silver Saddle, which is a senior program, mm -hmm. is two fifty, I believe, okay. and that's for six weeks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So more of that can be found on the website. Yes, it's obviously. All here. HWHonline.org. Mm -hmm. Or the phone number again, I'll give it to you right now, 533-9178, area code 928. Mm -hmm. Special Olympics. We wanted to make sure we talked about Special Olympics. Tell me about yes. that. Yes. Our executive director is Pam Berry, and she and the, some of the riding instructors who are, again, nationally qualified, run a Special Olympics team. Last summer, they went to L.A. to the National Special Olympics World Games. World Games. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Jeremiah Shedlock is one of our top riders, and he was a national captain right here from the Quad Cities. And he took a bronze and a gold in different riding events. And this was a horse he only learned to ride there in LA because he'd ridden our horses, of course, mm -hmm. and during his lessons. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we just couldn't be prouder of that young man. He's a wonderful young man. So some of the funds go to Special Olympics as well then? Yes, because the funds go into the general scholarship mm -hmm. and all of the riders, including Special Olympic riders, gotcha draw from the scholarship fund. That's where so, it ties in right yes. there. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it helps keep it going for another year. Mm -hmm. We're just so proud to help raise money for horses mm -hmm. with heart. Let's talk about the horses a little bit. Sure. Let's give them their due. Um, you know, I, my daughter took horseback lessons and I remember going with her once and uh, she'd just walk in there and she'd just be pushing those horses on. Like, you probably shouldn't be shoving on them like that, you know, because <laughs> I was, I was, I'm a bit nervous around horses and I think they pick up on that as they well. They would, yes. Yeah. So thank goodness John Wayne was very laid back. I could t I'll take care of you, Paul. I'll take care of you. Um, the horses have got to have a certain demeanor to them as well in order to, to be able to be in this program. So mm -hmm. tell me about mm -hmm. some of the horses. There are about a dozen horses there. The mm -hmm. tallest one is Scoop. He's a, an enormous quarter horse mix. And then the smallest one is a miniature horse, not a pony. She's a miniature horse named Buttercup. And I'm on that team, the mini program, and we take her out to uh, schools, preschools and special ed classes. Gotcha. And the kids love on her. And she, she's a little rock star. Mm -hmm. She's 20 years old which is, you know, it's up there for a horse, and uh, she's just a little rock star. But then there are all sizes in between, so the riding instructor pairs up the rider's needs with this particular horse. And it's, all personalities, too. Yeah, know, personalities in, are... In and horses the, and... Oh, I imagine. The horses are very carefully screened. I mean, they'll, they'll go out and check the horse out and then bring it there on approval. Mm -hmm. Of course, it has to be in quarantine anyway for horse health before the vet checks it out. But if it doesn't work out, it goes back to the owner. Now, you mentioned that the horses are donated. Yes. So if, if somebody has a super gentle, oh, please awesome call little them. horse, yes, call them. please mm -hmm. call. So you have a dozen right now, but I imagine mm -hmm. you could probably use more? It might even be down to 10. I know. Okay. Um, yeah. So we, we don't really address that. We're not involved in right. that except right. as volunteers. But, but the board, a, there's a the president, board executive, exactly what to director, do. writing director. There's even a link on the website, Donate a Horse, yes. and you can find out a lot more about it there. Okay, right. great. I'm glad you said that I'm because I also, know, I also noticed on the website that there was a wish list for Horses with Heart as Huge well. Wish so, list. so that's hey. something else people can take a look at yes. as well and say, okay, if I. Maybe you don't have horses anymore, but you've got all the tack and stuff that you Love had before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be donated yeah. as well. We'll take a second break already. Wow. Uh, website again is hwhonline.org for Horses with Heart. Their 2016 Bullathon is set for Saturday, February 13th. Registration online at the website. And then the phone number is 928-533-9178. This is County Wide. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. So they say it's a man's world? I don't see anybody's name on it. While they were doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at.
If you don't fix them, sparks from dragging tow chains could cause a wildfire. And that could be scary. Ah, Smokey! Only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, did you know 2.4 million loving cats and dogs in shelters and rescues need our help to find a home? Let's go to the shelterpetproject.org and meet a few are in a shelter near you. Harlo. Oh, she's one great listener who loves to hear all your stories. My kind of cat. Cerulo is a sweet, goofy boy who's eager to please. Sounds just like another dog I know. So go to the shelterpetproject.org, search your local shelters and rescues, and go for a cuddle with your next best friend. Adopt. Welcome back to County Y. Just a couple of minutes left of the program. Horses with Heart needs your help at uh, the 2016 Bolathon, or just really at any point in time. Their website is hwhonline.org. Phone number is 928-533-9178. They have a Bolathon coming up on Saturday, February 13th. They'd love it if you'd be registered by the end of the week this week. It is the 21st of January, uh, but of course I'll take you afterwards and try to work all that stuff in. Well, we can't say that, but we'll sure try. We'll try, we'll mm -hmm. try. That's that's the key words of their little try. So if you can, get it done by Friday, January 22nd. Okay, give me, a, give me a quick awesome success story before we have to say goodbye. Thanks, um, I'd love to retell a story that, that our friend and fellow volunteer, Kay Krizek, told. Um, and it's about uh, the, the biggest horse scoop and one of our veteran riders. Uh, we were in the arena one day, and you're always giving positive um, comments to the riders, you know. Um, well, our riding instructor, Jan, said to him, you're a natural, and you never know what impact that you might have on, on a person. Mm -hmm. Well, he was a, a very quiet rider, but he seemed to beam when Jan told him that. And he got in the car with his transport, Kay, and on the way back home, he he kind of welled up with tears and he said to Kay, you, uh, you know what they told me today? They said, you're a natural. And that just, we felt that in, in each one of our hearts mm -hmm. because it was true. Mm -hmm. But the impact that it had on him that particular moment in time was was just life changing. That's amazing. Life that kind of thing can change your yeah. life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just something that simple, just a kind word like that, mm -hmm. just something that simple. Mm -hmm. Meant everything to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It can just change a person's world. Yeah. And that's what keeps us going back, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. They've got all kinds of programs. Really, the website was just enormous with all kinds of information looking on there. for so volunteers should, too yeah and volunteers mm -hmm. as well yeah, everybody always. can always use volunteers always. so yeah. again the horses with heart 2016 bullathon is set for saturday february 13th registration should end on friday january 22nd so make sure you go to the website hwhonline.org get that form fill it out get it back into them or give them a call at 928-533-9178 thank you janice Thank you. Sandy, Come out and bowl. So a pleasure. And remind people, you don't have to be a good bowler. You can be a lousy bowler like me and still have a great time. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> For that a good sounds cause. good. That's today's County Wide, and we'll talk to you again next time.